Hi guys, thanks for tuning in Coastside Family Adventures. After four or five days of boondocking in um, Monterey at Laguna Seca, we decided to splurge a little bit and stay at the KOA here in Santa Cruz. It's actually in Watsonville, but I think they call it the Santa Cruz KOA. We got here last night and actually got a spot with full hookups, but then they didn't have it available for another two days. So we had to move into this spot, which has only water and electricity. And that's totally fine. I mean, obviously we were able to dump the tanks last night and for another couple nights we can stay here and not having, um, you know, the dump hookups is not a big deal. This park is full i'm telling you guys it is a zoo <laughs> It's not cheap. I mean, the cheapest spot, I believe, is 150 and the spot that we stayed in last night with the full hookups was, let me think, 180. That's insane for, uh, you know, basically to park your RV. This is one of the more expensive spots. It's even more than what we spent last night. I believe this one is almost 200 bucks. That's crazy, guys. <laughs> but it is a very popular spot. Um, this is where the little train stops. There's the fun train. We have stayed here before. We definitely came for, you know, what we were used to here with the fun activities for the kids. Beautiful park and man barely squeezed in it is uh, spring break so it's just so packed and i'm sure it's not a lot of full-timers because it's spring break i'm sure it's a lot of you know, people on vacation and you can pick your spots this one um the spots that you see here are all around the playground I mean, this is probably one of the nicest campgrounds we have stayed at. Really, really nice campground. Nice playground. So let's go back here. Because you can choose your spot if you book in advance. This, These spots here would be near the um, playground. And then you can choose your spots near the, the bouncy pillow. So let's go that way. Um, in, in fact, this is where we were last time, down here by the bouncy pillow. Uh, one time we were here in this spot by the care, by the playground. One time we were here by the bouncy pillow. Oh, they deflated. Oh, yes, the power is out. Okay, so can't show you the the bouncy pillow there right now because the power is out but I'll come back here and show you the kids bouncing so much fun oh they actually have two I think the second one is new Then back there is a lawn with lots of kids games going on. Kids activities in there in the lodge. Bouncing, uh, I mean climbing. Um, palm tree, ping pong. Let's see, we'll go this way. Cause there's the dog run back there. Last time we were here, we still had our Jesse dog. And I remember there was a dog wash back there and a dog, um, dog run. 
little picnic area here. All right, let's go back this way. I mean, this is definitely paradise for our kids. <laughs> Activity schedule is hanging there. Um, you can rent bikes, pedal bikes. Um, let's see, this is a little activity here, and then there's the dog run. So let's go down there. I mean, such a well taken care of park too. Doggy showers right there. Dog run right here. Really nice. Very quiet. I mean, it was so quiet last night. It's super windy and, you know, unfortunately the power went out, but they said it will be back within half an hour, so not a biggie. There's a trail here that's really cool to walk with your dog. Down there's the train track, but I have never heard a train here, so I don't even know if that's running. You can actually walk down there across the train track and get to the beach within a mile, which is super cool. All right, I'm gonna go down to the pool. Last time we were here, the pool was closed for, for renovation, so I'll show you what, what they did. This is the spot we had last night. Nice spot with a concrete patio and some um, chairs there. Cute little, uh, little pot set up in there. These are the bigger cabins that you can rent. All kinds of different sizes. Reminds me of the thousand trails, you know, cabins. And then the pool is just right by the stop sign. Stop si oh, the pool is right by the stop sign here to the left. <laughs> My peeps! I was going to film you guys at the pool. Daniel wants to go back. Yeah, you were there for three hours. I'm going to film the pool and the hot tub really quick for my video. Okay. And I'll Get see you burger. up there. Mom, mom. Get burger buns? No, there's no way to, there's the power's out. Power is still out. Okay. I, I left because, because all the kids were playing a game that I didn't want. Oh, there's, like a, there's a ton of kids at the playground. I just filmed over there. There's like, there's and, there's like hundreds. And at the. You might go back. Yeah. But not right now, oh later. No later. He wants to go back right now. Right now? He wants to leave. Yeah, later. One thing that was really cool was the gate was open last night and they posted which spots were not filled and available and what the spots were costing and we could just pick one of them and then you know we called the little intercom and told them hey we're going into this and this spot and we got set up for the night and then in the morning just came in here and unfortunately we had to move to a different spot but either way we still got to stay for another couple nights there's the pool let me show you the store first they do have coffee hot cocoa and other things but like I said the power is out so um, I'm probably not able to film too much right now and now it's consideration because people who came as little kids now have little kids so it's that important pretty awesome store I tell you nothing is cheap here just so you know coffee is two fifty, <laughs> and hot cocoa but hey you know what it's california and we had a blast laundry room i do want to do laundry tomorrow because the rv park that we're going to after this does not have um, any laundry facilities so it would be nice to get some of our laundry done before we go right there i can't tell you right now how much it is because um there's no power and it doesn't say but I'm I'm guessing like 253 a load. 
considering it's California. And there is the pool. Holy moly. Showers right here. Wow. That's spring break. <laughs> It is not warm, I tell you that. It's probably, I think the the hottest temperature today was 58. So it's definitely not a hot day. But there is a hot tub, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see, there. And I'm sure my kids were sitting in there earlier. So very nice pool. They were here for three hours, so. <laughs> and I want to go back. So they love that pool. Big field down here. Looks like they're doing some events here too sometimes. A little stage, volleyball, um, horseshoe, basketball. Yep, amazing park. I would say definitely in the top three of uh, parks that we have stayed in, in, and the top two are definitely care ways. A bunch of tent camping here. Another kind of cabins here in a little circle. Lots of cabins. I was, you know, we came here without a reservation. Honestly, I thought if we can't get an RV spot, we'll just get a cabin. <laughs> just for the hot tub and to be in this park. Lots of tents over here too. I don't know if they have set up the tents here at the RV park or if there's a group of people and they all have the same tents. Very interesting. Oh, and they also have a little Airstream village. There's like a spot where they have I'm not 100% how many, but maybe five or six airstreams that you can rent. Oh, look at that. School bus. I wonder if that's a converted one or if that's the group of campers here. Well, then we're back at our camp right there. See that? Made the round. You pretty much saw everything except for the bigger uh, spots in the back, but there isn't, you know, any uh, common areas really back there. There's just bigger RV spots that are more private and have nice setups. I believe there's some that even have private dog park areas. There we are. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> <laughs> no neighbors here <laughs> and that is it guys thank you so much for tuning in I hope you liked my little tour of the uh, what is this Watsonville KOA and we will be here for a couple days thanks for tuning in oh they're turning the generator on I hear the, the kids Matt, they probably need power for for the phones <laughs> well don't forget to like and subscribe bye